today's vlog. My name is Mandy. This is my YouTube channel. This is my life. <laughs> I have not done just like a day in the life video in a while, so this morning I decided let's do it, let's vlog, so here we are now. I am about to go meet my mom for lunch. I'm very excited because we're going to my favorite little cafe that's all organic and grass-fed, pasture-raised, really high quality food. But before I do that, I thought I'd just recap the morning just a little bit because I did a lot of things that you're probably like, what in the world is she doing? So the first thing that you saw me do was oil pulling and I've talked about this a few times before on my channel, but if you wanna learn how to do it, just Google it. I'm not gonna explain all of it here, but basically you just swish around coconut oil in your mouth for like five to 20 minutes or something like that. And the benefits are increased energy, helps bleeding gums, detoxifies the body, helps conquer bad breath, whitens teeth, reduces migraines, heals gums, clears sinus, Sinuses, fights inflammation, supports kidney function. Those are just some of the things. So I've been doing oil pulling quite a bit in the morning. So I added some clove essential oil into the coconut oil. Clove is a very powerful antioxidant, so that's why I did that. Then obviously you saw me make my breakfast. A lot of those things were just leftovers thrown together and it was very, very delicious and I'm also so obsessed with tahini right now. I love drizzling tahini on everything. Tahini is just sesame seed butter and I am so obsessed. And then the other thing was like my little healthy morning drink, adrenal energy, immunity boosting cocktail thing that I made. <laughs> I did pink salt for adrenals, apple cider vinegar for all the benefits that come from that, which are a lot. Vitamin C because my vitamin C is super low and I need more. D-ribose for energy. Anyways, today is going to be a good day. I just did a round of practice. I'm about to go have lunch and I'm gonna do an infrared sauna later. So there's something pretty significant in my health update that's come up this week and I haven't met with my functional medicine doctor about it yet. So I don't wanna talk about it probably too much yet, but it's been an interesting week because of that. It's overwhelming and emotional, but also exciting because we're like really getting down to some things that I didn't know existed. Yeah. If you're new, I'm recovering from a health crisis. It's been a two plus year battle and I am learning a lot and documenting my journey. So since I'm doing the sauna later, I'm going to inject myself with glutathione right now. That was a fail. Glutathione is known as like the master antioxidant, so I feel like it'd be a good idea to use it now. And then I'm gonna go to lunch and I'm gonna take you with me. As you can see, yep, that is a needle. And this is my glutathione. Okay, I'm not gonna make you watch me stick myself in the needle. Okay, bye. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Whoa. Yeah. Uh, what is it? It's an egg sandwich. Egg sandwich with something goo on it. And then what do you got on the side? That is cauliflower that is imitating a potato. That's mashed cauliflower? This is mashed cauliflower. Oh. And it looks like you actually got a mashed potato. I think I did. <laughs> I think they got that wrong, didn't they? I got a grass-fed burger. They, they accidentally gave me a bun too, which I'm pretty sure this is gluten-free. I'm pretty sure this is millet, but I'm still not gonna eat it. And I got mashed cauliflower, so. Like I said, I love this place because it's all like organic and pasture-raised and grass-fed and just really high-quality stuff. I also got this orange hibiscus tea. Okay, so I finished lunch with my mom and in the same building as the cafe, they have like this wellness center. Basically, without going into details, the tests reveal my body has a lot of toxicity, like a lot, and it probably is a huge factor in my health crisis. As soon as I found out about that, I immediately got a three month membership here to be able to do unlimited saunas. So for the last three days, I've been doing a 30 minute sauna and 
infrared saunas are just really beneficial for a lot of reasons but they are exceptional for helping the body detoxify from different toxic chemicals so i want to show you around because this is a really cool place i've got the room entirely to myself there's a sauna there's a little sink um, they brought me some mineral water and towels and stuff you can kind of see in the sauna very fancy. So while I'm in the sauna, I'm gonna do my self-directed neuroplasticity practice. So, yep, that's it. <laughs> I thought I would give you an update on life in case you're wondering what else I do during the day. I responded to some emails, did some research on my health stuff and test results that came back. And now I'm just lying in bed. Watching World of Dance. In just a little bit, I'm going to be meeting my family for dinner and a movie. And they're meeting at Qdoba for dinner, and I really like Qdoba, but for me right now, I don't really want to be eating factory farm meat or a lot of inflammatory oils, which Qdoba, I forget what oil it's cooked in. Yeah, Qdoba uses soybean oil. <laughs> <laughs> which is disgusting. Um, very inflammatory, very high in omega-6s. Sadly, most restaurants use industrial seed oils and they are no bueno. So, I'm gonna show you pretty quickly what one of my throw together something really fast meals is. And this is really like, I need to eat something right now and yeah, I don't really have time to prep anything. So first I'm gonna make a little sardine salad-y thing. Just like tuna salad basically, but with sardines. Sardines are so good for you. They're really high on omega-3s and vitamin D, all kinds of good things. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Primal Kitchen's mayo. I'm obsessed with this brand and this mayo. It's made with avocado oil, really great ingredients. I don't do too much of this because I am a little sensitive to eggs right now. And I'll add some mustard too, salt and pepper. Mash it all up, mix it all together. It'll look really gross, probably like pet food, but it'll taste delicious and be very high in nutrients, which is what I need right now, especially because I don't have time to get any veggies together. <laughs> I like my sardines packed in olive oil because I feel like that gives it the most flavor. So it kind of helps when you mash them up, then they don't look as fishy. And I eat it with the skin on, the bone in, the bones are super soft. So they're really easy to eat and when you mash it up, you don't really know that they're in there. So this is what it looks like right now. I really enjoy cooking, but most of the time, because of lack of time and energy, I do very simple meals. People are gonna think this is disgusting. So this is what it looks like. Just think of it like tuna salad. And I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in it. And, mmm, so good. Right now, I'm completely obsessed with this coconut yogurt. And it's made from raw young coconut, raw young coconut water, probiotics, raspberry juice, and 100% pure love. And only has two grams of sugar, perfect. So after I eat my little sardine concoction, this, will be my dessert. It's that yogurt and I added some organic fresh raspberries, some frozen blueberries, and some of these Lily's dark chocolate chips. These don't have any added sugar. They're sweetened with stevia and erythritol. And I'll just like mix all that up and let it sit a little bit before I eat it and beautiful. It'll be amazing. Okay, well, I ended up having some sweet potato chips too and I feel like they're probably all in my teeth. Yep, I definitely have lots of sweet potato in my teeth. So I'm about to head out to go hang out with my fam. So I'll just leave the camera here. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to sit out on this one. <laughs> hey, you made it to the end of the video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed just a little piece of my life. I'm not really sure why you are interested in my life, stalker. <laughs> just kidding. Looking back on my day, it was kind of all about family, food, and wellness, which is pretty accurate. It's pretty much what a lot of my life entails, encompasses, involves. Before you go, I just wanted to talk about something. So I know that life is really hard. I'm walking through a hard season in life, battling chronic illness, and you may be going through something really hard too. So I just wanna leave you with this. First Thessalonians 5 verses 16 
through 18. Rejoice always and delight in your faith. In every situation, no matter what the circumstances, be thankful and continually give thanks to God. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. So just recognizing that it's not always gonna be easy. I'm never quite sure how things come across on camera, but I know things usually look better on camera than it really is. I guess I just wanna say that life can be challenging, but I'm just going to choose to rejoice and be glad wherever you're at and whatever circumstance you're in whether you're in a storm or if life is just all dandy right now just remember to rejoice and give thanks it's just cool to see how much better life is when you shift your attitude and i think the reason i'm thinking about this particularly is that day you just watched didn't have to be a good day because i definitely was still having health challenges but it was a really good day because of how i chose to look at it and yeah okay if you like watching my videos and have not yet clicked that subscribe button please be sure to do that now mm, i'm tired <sighs> okay i'm gonna get the video up editing takes a lot of time okay i'll see you later bye